Sami Zayn says he feels strange following WWE Elimination Chamber loss. Mercedes Monet wins IWGP Women's title at New Japan Pro Wrestling's Battle in the Valley. John Cena officially announced for March WWE Raw episode. Hey there, everyone. You're watching another episode of The Latest, and today I'm going to go ahead and catch you up on some of the items that took place during this weekend, as well as some early Monday news. Let's get right to it. Sami Zayn talked about his feelings following his match against Roman Reigns at Saturday's WWE Elimination Chamber press conference. When asked about his thoughts following the match, Zayn repeatedly said he felt strange. He said what happened at Elimination Chamber felt like a dream come true, but the storybook ending didn't happen. When asked when he thought the Bloodline storyline started coming together, Sami Zayn specifically mentioned August of last year, when he was introduced to Roman Reigns for the first time on camera, putting over their immediate on-screen chemistry. He also talked about the content era, mentioning how being good just isn't good enough anymore. He feels that the Bloodline storyline has created moments that people will remember five or even ten years from now. Prior to Sami Zayn speaking, Triple H also talked to the press. He said that Saturday's show now holds the largest WWE gate in Montreal history. Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics brought up the question of a WWE sale. Triple H said that he's staying out of it instead focusing on creative content. Saying, quote, I stay out of it. That's not a cop-out answer. I have the greatest gig in the world. I helped in some small way create the magic we did here tonight. And to me, that is the best gig on the planet. As long as we get to do our jobs and put our passion on display and do what we do, I'm good. It is what it is. And now your updates on what occurred on Battle in the Valley. Mercedes Monet is the new IWGP Women's Champion. In her first New Japan Pro Wrestling match, Monet defeated Kyrie by pinfall to capture the IWGP Women's title at the Battle in the Valley pay-per-view. She scored the win with her moneymaker finisher. She was decked out in gear, inspired by the late Hana Kimura's ring attire. Mercedes won the title after a back-and-forth battle that saw her use her old bank statement finisher. Mercedes vs. Kyrie was the first half of a double main event at Battle in the Valley in San San Jose, going on next to last. In the show's closing bout, we saw Kazuchika Okada defeat Hiroshi Tanahashi to retain the IWGP World Heavyweight title in the 16th career singles meeting between the two. After defeating Tanahashi, Okada cut a promo asking Tanahashi to reform their dream team to go after the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team titles. Mercedes then entered and pointed out the similarities between herself and Okada teasing a future pairing of Okada and Mercedes in a mixed tag team bout. Additionally, on the show, Eddie Kingston defeated Jay White in a Loser Leaves New Japan Pro Wrestling match, ending this chapter of the Switchblade's New Japan career. Jay White, who's currently 30 years old, joined the New Japan Pro Wrestling Dojo as a young lion back in January 2015. He took his international excursion in 2016, then returned to the company's main unit with the Switchblade gimmick in November 2017. In the five plus years that followed, Jay White had an unprecedented run for a foreign born wrestler in New Japan, becoming the first Grand Slam champion, holding four different singles titles in the company's history. Jay White also held New Japan Pro Wrestling's top title on two occasions, holding the IWGP Heavyweight Championship for 54 days in 2019 and holding the IWGP World Heavyweight title for 206 days from June 2022 until wrestling. Wrestle Kingdom 17 this year. And John Cena is making his return to WWE just in time for WrestleMania season. WWE sent out an email today announcing that Cena will be appearing on the Monday, March 6th episode of Raw at the TD Garden in Boston. It's the first WWE show John Cena has been announced for since he appeared on the final SmackDown of 2022. Dave Meltzer reported earlier this month that a match between Cena and Austin Theory was planned for WrestleMania 39. Theory currently holds the WWE US Championship. He retained the title in a Elimination Chamber match against Seth Rollins, Montez Ford, Damian Priest, Johnny Gargano, and Bronson Reed this past Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Latest. I will be back with more, but in the meantime, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online.